Speaking of your dad not understanding what you did, my dad backstage at this show, I want to tell you two things about my father. Can I say one thing about your father who I love very much? His voice is exactly the voice of Peter Griffin uh, from <laughs> Family Guy. And, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that as an insult or anything. He just has that accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know he has that mean. very strong accent. And when he started to talk, I was like, he's, he's the dad on, on, on he Family Guy. He sounds exactly that. Well, he sounds like him. I wish we had the voicemail from him or something we could play. It's very, uh, it's, it's a very strong... And people accuse me all the time of having a Boston accent, and, and I talked about this on my show tonight, but I, of, of losing it intentionally, and I didn't. I didn't even know I had one, because when you grow up in Boston, you don't know you have a Boston accent. Right. And then years go by, and I'm in show business, and I'm living in different places, and I, you, know, you, you lose your ear for it. And then recently, my parents showed me uh, Super 8 home movies of me from... I don't know, like, you know, when I was six. Yes. And it really was like, we're going to go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> we will not tolerate. I was just, I don't know why <laughs> I was doing Kennedy speeches. <laughs> Talking a lot about Khrushchev. <laughs> we will not tolerate this aggression. <laughs> but, I, but I don't know what happened to it. It just went away. And uh, yeah. you, I can hear yours, but yours has uh, clearly gone away somewhere. It definitely has. In fact, I think mine just showed up in 97 when Goodwill Hunting was popular. Yeah. <laughs> I never you had it. You didn't have it. I didn't have it. In yeah. Lexington, we didn't have it. And then we tried it. I remember trying it. At my preppy high school, I'd be like, we're going to hang out Saturday. People were like, what? Saturday. We're going to hang out Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I'm real sorry. My father said to me, my Peter Griffin father said, <laughs> I, I thought it would be fun, you know, and it was fun to have them here. I thought they'd have all these showbiz questions. My, the one question my father goes, Peter. That's how he sounds, exa yeah, he does. Peter, Meg and I and Brian the dog were wondering. <laughs> he goes, Stewie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, hey, Brian. I can't. Uh, <laughs> thank you, that was gracious. That was not that good. You just take it. Yeah, yeah. I you learn to just take it. <laughs> Half my life has been pity applause, and I just, I just take it. I used to go like, oh, oh and now I'm just like, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> Must get approval that eluded me in the late '60s. Anyway, what do, you, what do you say? Oh, he goes, uh, Peter. What kind of car does Conan drive? That's all he wanted to know, and I said, uh, Dad, Conan's doing well for himself. And then my father goes, really? <laughs> Had no concept that a man that's been on TV for 20 years right. might be OK. I had, uh, you know, God rest his soul, he's no longer with us. But I had an uncle, true story, who wanted me to be a lawyer. And, uh, you know, when I was, all those years, I was writing on Saturday Night Live, writing for The Simpsons. You know, yes. my career is working out. And he kept saying, not too late. And then I get the late, I replace David Letterman with, and get my own late night show. And like still, three years into it, he was like, I'm just saying as a lawyer, yeah. you get to direct and write and act, you're the whole thing all oh. at once. Like you want me to leave the show to go be a lawyer. And yes, he did. He thought there's still time. I've seen what you're doing. You could still. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, and I think he might be on to something. <laughs> Well, it's funny because comedians are often in the search for legitimacy, something that they can understand. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm sorry to end on a sweet note, but you, you've given me that so much with my family. Now they understand what a TV show is. They know who you are. So, you know, this Thanksgiving will be different for me. Everybody will be like... <laughs> You'll actually... Yeah, it's, it's a nice thing. Well, you know, uh, what's, what's I, the thing I always have told you from the beginning is you're the perfect host for the Pete Holmes show. You're such a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We looked. We went through the phone book, and we knew it had to be Pete Holmes. Complicated to explain why. I kept tax purposes. <laughs> this whole thing for me is a business write-off. Yeah. No, I, 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 I mean this. Uh, I do mean this. I'm going to attempt to be uh, sincere. You are such a naturally funny and likable person, and I'm just very happy that you're doing. You're doing exactly what you should be doing, and. And you're doing such a great show and doing such a great job, and it's just a pleasure. Well, thank you. He should be, you know. It's an unbelievable pleasure. Conan O'Brien! Conan O'Brien! Conan O'Brien!